Amgen Biotechnology is a, a biotech that's actually based in California, but it has a site here in uh, Dunleary since 2011. Amgen as a company focuses on understanding human genetics uh, and applying that to the therapies that it develops uh, to target serious illnesses. So what I'd like to talk to you about this morning is, uh, as, as Charlotte has said, the advances in medicine and how we treat serious illness is moving really fast. And what I'd like to do this morning is just to give you a brief insight into some of the, the newest technologies uh, in the fight against cancer. So as you know uh, from the stats, they tell us that you know, your chances of getting cancer here in Ireland is, is one in three throughout the course of your lifetime. So that's 30,000 new cases annually in Ireland, and that's, that's rising uh, to 40,000 annually by, by 2020. So within our, our cells and our DNA, we have uh, six billion nucleotides, which is basically the building blocks of our DNA. And as our cells uh, replicate, this, these nucleotides are actually copied. And as they're copied, we get mistakes, we get mutations, and these build up over the course of, of your lifetime. And this gives rise to the possibility uh, that uh, you can get um, the mechanisms of cell growth can be inactivated and you can get uh, mutations that lead uh, to overgrowth of cells. And we can see some of these mutations in uh, tumor cells. So why am I, I showing you a picture here of, of the predator? So I'm not sure if everybody remembers the predator, but, but I sure remember him. Uh, and uh, I've seen that film many times over the years, but you know, it's still a great film. One of the key things that uh, struck me about the film was uh, the cloaking device that the Predator had, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger had a really hard time putting this guy down, but one of the reasons he couldn't kill him was that he couldn't see him. So you can make the same analogy with, with cancer cells and your immune system. Your immune system has a difficult time actually uh, seeing the cancer cells. So uh, how can we actually help our immune system to target uh, cancer cells uh, more effectively. Uh, one of the areas that's uh, really up and coming now and in the last few years has really exploded is the whole area of immunotherapy. That's the area of engaging our own immune system to actually target uh, the cancer cells. So I'm actually going to talk to you a little bit about uh, a therapy in, in that whole area which is uh, bite uh, antibodies and bite technologies. Uh, so really, with, with this therapy that's been developed in the last few years, uh, the whole idea is that you actually help your own immune system to identify the cancer cells. And one of the, the, the key challenges with uh, cancer cells is that the difference between a cancer cell and a normal cell is actually very small. It can be as small as one mutation per 100,000 nucleotides in your cell. So that means that your immune system has a really difficult time in actually identifying the cancer cell and targeting it. With uh, traditional methods of, of treating cancer, uh, we use cyclotoxic uh, drugs. Now these, these drugs, uh, really, they don't know the difference between a normal cell and a cancer cell. And that's why you get uh, such severe side effects uh, when you uh, treat cancer. Because as well as killing the cancer cell, it also kills uh, the normal cell. So it's been really a riddle for the last 100 years that scientists have really been trying to figure out how do we get a magic bullet uh, to actually uh, differentiate between the cancer cells and normal cells, and how can we actually start uh, to target them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really short video about uh, bite antibodies. Uh, this is just one of a number of, of new therapies that's been developed. Uh, and really where this is all coming from is uh, our understanding of how uh, cell biology works, uh, the mechanisms, the interaction between your immune system uh, and, and cells 
um, that invade it, we're, we're beginning to understand that more and more. And, and by understanding it more, we can actually begin to develop new therapies that can help us to actually target uh, even different types of cancer cells and become more effective. So guys, if you want to play the video there, Cancer is the uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells inside the body. These cells divide without control and are able to invade other tissue. There are a number of different treatment types to combat cancer. One approach being studied is immunotherapy. Cancer immunotherapy is designed to harness the body's immune system to help fight cancer. One approach being investigated uses T cells. T cells, which are special white blood cells, play a central role in the body's immune system. T cells typically help the immune system combat foreign invaders, such as viruses, helping to prevent and fight illness. They also have the ability to fight cancer cells. But cancer cells may evade the immune system, making them hard to detect. They develop inside the body and are usually able to disguise themselves, tricking the immune system into thinking they're healthy cells. Using a number of different mechanisms, cancer cells escape notice and destruction from the immune system and T-cells. Investigational bite antibodies were developed with the goal of helping T-cells detect cancer cells. Bite antibodies are thought to work by bridging two targets found within close proximity to each other at the same time. One target is a receptor on T-cells, the other target is a cancer-specific cell surface molecule. Bite antibodies are designed to bring T-cells in close proximity to cancer cells, allowing T-cells to recognize and fight the cancer cells. The goal is to trigger a response that will overcome the cancer cell's ability to hide from the body's immune system. Once the T-cells use the bridge created by the bite antibodies, it is then hoped that they're close enough to fight the cancer cells. Amgen is investigating the clinical significance of bite and the potential for T-cells to recognize and fight target cancer cells. Okay, so really what you can take from that is uh, the whole goal of, of that uh, bite antibody technology is to help our own T-cells, which are powerful uh, cells for the immune system, to bind with the cancer cell in two specific uh, locations and to kill the, the cancer cells themselves. So really I'd like to bring this back now to well, Ireland and put it in context uh, really where we are. Um, so just out the road in Dunleary, uh, we're, we're lucky enough to have Amgen here since 2011 and we're actually bringing uh, the first of the Amgen bite uh, antibodies uh, to Dunleary. You might ask, well, why is it coming to Dunleary? Amgen is a, a huge company that could bring it anywhere. One of the key reasons it's coming to Dunleary is not only the expertise of, of the people uh, at the site, but we do have uh, capability for a lyophilization. Lyophilization is uh, the freeze drying uh, of product. So a lot of these new products are actually need to be freeze dried in order to be preserved and maintained before they get to the patient. Uh, and we're lucky enough to have that capability, that commercial capability at the site. So that means out of all the sites, we're the one that's up front for all of these new molecules. So really that puts uh, Ireland and our industry right at the cutting edge of bringing the next generation of medicines to fight cancer and bring, bring that to people. Uh, so it's a, it's a really exciting time. Uh, and you know, really I wanted you to go away maybe with the message if we bring this back to people. This is all great, great science, but at the end of the day, you know, it's about you, it's about me, it's about our children, our grandchildren, and we're really just at the beginning phase now of actually winning, winning some of the fights against cancer. Uh, and I believe in the next, you know, short while, we're going to have the same successes in fighting cancer that we've had in the past with fighting pathogens and, and viruses that invade our body. We'll be able to target it and win. So I'd just like to leave you with that note, and uh, thank you very much for listening to me this morning. Want to be in the audience next time? Click here for tickets to InspireFest 2017.